so we're gonna start talking and I'll be like, what's up guys? Uh, hey guys, this is that one guy for the win here, and today I'm going to do a little tutorial on the Tom and Cheap's uh, hack for War Z. So to bring it up, just press in, insert on your keyboard, and uh, as you can see, you move around at the same time with your mouse and your gun. So just turn it off and press escape, then go in the menu. And inside the menu, you have one, two, three, four, five, five tabs, and if you're level two, you have six tabs. In the main tab, you have a bunch of options to turn on and turn off no recoil. You have options to do no spread, no reload, no sway, and auto fire. So auto fires if you run out of a clip and you still have ammo, it will take ammo from that and you'll just keep shooting. And you'll have an option for a limited sprint and instant hit. So instant hit is like right when you shoot it hits the object that is on the cursor. Um, over here in this uh, upper box in the middle we have a proximity alert box which shows distance uh, which will alert you up here where somebody is coming near you. So if I turn it down, you can see uh, Ziger, uh, Ziga Veer and his name goes away. I'm actually playing with him right now. And if we turn it back up, you can see we get it back up there. So I have it max distance, so if anybody comes in alert, uh, proximity. I also have auto sprint uh, active, so you can just press alt or, uh, or number pad 5 and it will automatically run for you. And you have instant revive, so whenever you die, you can just click this and it will instantly revive your character. <clears throat> Alright. In the next tab, we have aimbot, uh, which I have active, and you can change which keys for any of these by clicking on them. I have a set for K, and you have a bunch of options for the aimbot in here. Uh, ninja mode is where... Um, I'm actually not sure what it does, but I know it's something to do with uh, how you, it like moves you slower so that you can get uh, better angles of hitting people. But I'm going to keep that normal. You have prediction box right here with the um, options that you expect. Target search right here with distances, aim angles, critical distance, and all this. You all adjust it with this little bar right here. You also have filters for zombies and no zombies, just players. Visible only, no visible. And auto switch filters. You also can choose where you want uh, the aimbot to aim to shoot at a victim. Now, on the third tab, you have a shit list. And I'm going to show you how this works. So, um, if there's a proximity of players around you, in a certain proximity, you'll see a list of players that are near you. And you could click on any of them and put them on your friends list or put them on your hit list. So I'm going to put Zeger Van on my friends list. And what that does is whenever I turn my aimbot, my aimbot does not aim at him. And you could also change the colors of the um, people that are on your hit list and the people that are on your friends list right there. Uh, for the... <laughs> For the fourth tab, we have a player's box and a zombie's box for ESPs. ESPs um, are the in the hack mo hack models around or on the characters or um, people in the game. And we have um, all of this checked, rendered, and everything unchecked. I have unrendered for now. And same goes for zombies and. What this bar right here does is do shows the limit where um, players are. So if I turn it up, you'll see more players. Turn up more, you'll see a farther distance away with this. So players will see everywhere, and I don't really care too much zombies. So I could turn that down so it didn't clutter my screen. Also, you have a crosshair thing right here. We can actually see that happen live right here. Let's change the color to red. Actually, I did that wrong. Alright, there it is, red. And you change any color item in here with these boxes. And same goes for zombies. 
Um, and you also on the zombies you have a size on the 2D, 2D radar so we can turn it up. And uh, see it line color. Make that green. That's cool. Make it a little darker maybe. Yeah, right there. And for the fifth box, if you're level one, this is your last box. You have uh, World ESP. This is for all objects in game. And right here, you get a distance bar. And I have it maxed out, so whenever I'm walking, I can see the farthest while I'm looking for stuff. We also have tags for names of the objects, distance of objects, and 3D spheres in the game. They go around the object. And they get bigger as you get close to them, and they max out at the size you have it set out right here. You can assign certain object, objects uh, colors, and I have them set. This, these are actually the defaults I'm sticking with. And um, that's uh, it for the World ESP. Um, but if you want Miscon, all this does is show you where the uh, uh, safe towers are, which are literally just nothing in the sky right now. We're not sure what these miscellaneous items are, objects are right now. Now, if you have a level 2 subscription, you get these three toggles. No clip, which lets you fly anywhere. Climb mode, which lets you um, climb up anything, for example, i.e. if you hit a tree while walking towards it, you automatically go up it and land on the top. And then you have no op options toggle, which turns off all trees, all buildings, and everything. And under here, we get two settings boxes. The settings box for labeled settings um, controls the no clip and you could turn up the speed and turn it down according to what you like and you can set it for the y axis so that instead of going on the x axis which is horizontal uh, you go y axis which is up and down. You can assign which key you want to turn on the what no clip with. For super jump this is a, another toggle that once you activate it, if you hit this key, it'll make you jump in the air that certain height. Now, I'm not going to use this because last time I did it, as I fell down, I got kicked out. And when I rejoined, um, I fell and died. So I'm not doing it. I'm going to show you, no, I'm going to show you that. Um, no clip. Uh, no, this does have a high risk of ban, and you must use it at your own risk. So do not blame me or... Tom M. Cheats website uh, for not warning you because it's right there. Um, but for no objects in climb mode, um, they're not bannable, they're not really detected right now. But if you want to use no objects, just reload the map and um, it'll show up without any trees or anything. Alright, guys, thanks for watching um, the video. And uh, if this video helped you, don't forget to subscribe if you're not a subscriber already and to like the video. You can add me or um, subscribe me on Facebook and uh, Twitter, that one guy for a win. And add me on um, PlayStation Network, right? that one guy for a win. I'm also on Steam at Top Gun Huey and on Skype at TaylorBot55. So uh, just thanks again guys for watching, don't forget to subscribe. Peace.